everybody. No. We're going on a trip. Yep. Keep you posted. Talk at you later. Hello, everybody. We are at our campsite. Just thought I'd kind of show you around a little bit. It's getting kind of dark. Too dark to see. Can't I can't help but do that every time I say it's getting dark. There's Joanna in there. It's already gotten too cold uh, for Joanna. It's a little chilly. She's a little cold, so uh, it is a little nippy. About 66 degrees already. What time is it? It is 6:42. So it's about 20 minutes to 7. 6:42. Sun is going down, as you can see of our back uh, back against them mountains over there but uh, I just want to show you around here here is our campsite I'll hold you up like that so you can kind of see it hopefully it's kind of it's kind of showing up so uh, that's our campsite there's some folks in the one next to us here and the one on the other side over there they haven't been around the one guy, a couple of spaces down, came came by a, a little while ago, started a fire, and then uh, and then left again. I don't know. And then we got over here drinking water, some drinking drinking water right there. If uh, for needing drinking water, I brought my own water. I don't. I won't run out of water or nothing. Over there, what you probably can't see, is normally where the closest restroom would be, but it's closed right now because they are expanding this campsite. Everything's closed that way. The road's actually blocked off and everything. But over this way is where this other guy was uh, camping. He's got himself one of those uh, one of those hammocks. I wouldn't want to be in that tonight. That's uh, that's probably going to be a little chilly, a little chilly. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on here. I'm not going to light up a fire or nothing. Oh, here comes that guy now. Let me go ahead and let you guys go. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Just woke up and uh, making me some coffee. We had a little bit of a uh, hitch in our get along last night. Hitch in our get along. We, uh, our plan for Joanna to sleep. Let me swing her at. Joanna, our plan was that Joanna was gonna, she was gonna sleep in this hammock as like kind of an upper deck. Well, that didn't work out real good in the middle of the night. So we had to vacate that idea and resituate ourselves. What what ended up happening, and what we did not uh, foresee as a problem, is when you add winter gear to the situation. Um, you know, with the sleeping bags and the and the heavy you know attire that you're wearing, because last night was cold. Uh, changed the dynamic. This bed got about a whole nother size smaller. Really got to do some more thinking about the bed situation. We might, you know, I might have to come up with something else. It's tied in here when we're just using a blanket. And you go throwing in a couple of sleeping bags and I wore a flannel to bed last night because it was so cold. And another thing that happened is that the roof vent is not installed yet. So you know, with us sleeping and breathing in here and stuff with the cold, the humidity r rose to 72% or something inside the van, which made it pretty uncomfortable without, without some sort of venting. Definitely need to work on that problem as well. So these are all things that, you know, you find out as you go. But I'm brewing up, uh, brewing up some coffee. I could have done this a more of energy efficient way with a percolator and all that stuff but and I have a percolator in here in the box right I just didn't feel like screwing with percolator they're uh, they're a little bit more work and the coffee tastes a little different out of a percolator some say it's better 
I guess I don't really have a preference either way. I mean, it's, uh, they both taste good to me, but they definitely have a distinct different flavor when you're uh, percolating as opposed to brewing. But that's probably stuff uh, coffee drinkers, you know, people that don't drink coffee could care less about. So I'll go ahead and just shut up right there. I'll get back at you guys when we get up and uh, up and running. Is that right, Joanna? Yeah. Joanna's on the other side over there doing something. What are you doing? I'm staring outside. Oh, she's just staring. She says that she's just staring. That seems like a worthwhile endeavor. All right, guys. We'll get you in a little while after we get up and moving around. On and in. Okay. Okay, guys. Here's a little pro tip for my fellow OCD people. I have to go use a public toilet. And anybody who has OCD knows that that is a terrifying prospect where you could catch saber tooth body lobster, crotch crickets. God only knows what kind of rickets are swimming in there. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take this trash bag and we're going to cut the bottom off. Just like so. I'm trying to be my own cameraman here. So I'm just taking my knife. And uh, normally I'll have these already done and whatnot. So you just want to cut the bottom off the bag so you can crap through it that's a that's the name of a really awesome movie how we crap through it i believe was the title of it so what we're going to do is we're going to take our bag and we are going to go to the public restroom and i'll show you what we do when we get there uh, a little bit of a walk a little bit of a walk to the toilet though. Elevation is about 9,000 feet so this is a little bit of a huff and puff. So you go in here and lock it. Get this set up and you're going to take the bottom put it in there and then just cover cover the entire toilet like so I'll get back at you as soon as I'm done doing what I gotta be doing okay after you're done with your business you just Take this and fold up this in like that, and you just take this down. You got your gloves, and you just take it with you, throw it, and you just take it with you, and you throw it in a in a trash can. Just take it, throw it in a trash can. And then when I get back to the van, I didn't bring any uh, baby wipes with me, but normally I do. That way you can polish up your balloon knot, you know, tidy it up a little bit. And then you're uh, fresh as a daisy, good as new. So anyway, guys, I hope this, I know this uh, probably isn't the most, you know, uh, interesting subject for many but if you're afflicted with OCD like I am I hope it was of uh, some use to you talk to you later on that end